There's a group of our viewers who are not hearing tonight's broadcast. They're hearing impaired. Still, they read the closed captioning and can carry on a one-on-one -on -one conversation with someone. They use sign language, of course, and more and more high schools and colleges are teaching it. In fact, as Jim Conrad tells us, many schools treat it as a second language. There's talking going on in this classroom, but you can't hear it. How does it feel not knowing what people are saying? That's how many in the deaf community feel. I talked to one lady one time, and she became deaf later in life, and her family had stopped talking to her because they didn't want to put the effort to talk to her. So she had been not talked to anybody in seven years. And so she was really excited when I talked, like I could sign to her. Just one of the many reasons for this three-day American Sign Language camp at Virginia Highlands Community College. It's difficult, but made easier by playing games and actually communicating with each other using sign language. In fact, this counts as a credit for a foreign language. Well, many colleges are now starting to recognize that American Sign Language is a foreign language. It is known that that American Sign Language is now accepted as a foreign language. That may be a reason to take the class, but for some of these students, they have a very specific reason. I really want to broaden my uh, vocabulary because I interpret for the deaf at the library during the story time telling sessions. Um, it's after, it starts after Labor Day, and I'll be doing it again this year. No matter the reason, these students are getting introduced to a whole new culture. Since many of the deaf can't communicate with the hearing population, because we don't know how to communicate with them. I think it's a great way for people to get involved in deaf culture and really learn about um, how deaf people really have to live and how they communicate. I think it's a really good experience. Imagine how an unsuspecting deaf person will feel when they meet someone who can hear, but who can have a real conversation with them. For Project Families Region Focus, I'm Jim Conrad, News 5. Jordan Canigliero joins us now with sports. Baseball.